Once the project has been downloaded to your device, select the project to access it and view the project's individual plan sheets. In this view, you'll notice that each sheet in the project is displayed as individual thumbnail icons. The thumbnail icons are displayed in number order, but there are also a few tools located in the upper and lower sections of the screen to assist in finding the sheet or sheets that you need. These features will be discussed in more detail in other videos. Along the bottom of your screen is the navigation toolbar. This toolbar contains helpful icons that will help you navigate all of your project information. The first icon on your navigation toolbar is the Sheets icon. Use this to access all of the sheets that have been added to your project. The second icon is the Documents icon. This icon houses all of your reference materials or all of the documents that you might be used to carrying in a milk crate in the passenger seat of your truck. But now, they're in an organized and searchable view. This allows quick and easy access to crucial reference materials as the work is happening. It's such a time saver. Documents that you'll find housed within this icon can include your road and bridge specifications, your standards manual, and other various safety and reference documents that you may need in the field. For example, let's say you want to take a look at the spec book for information about self-consolidating concrete to double-check the slump requirements in the VDOT practice project. You would start by selecting the Documents icon. If you know that the spec book is located in the Standard Specifications folder, you can select that folder and go right to the PDF of the document that you're interested in, which in this case is the 2016 Road and Bridge Specs. If you're not sure about which folder to look in, you can type the name of the document or a keyword in the name into the search bar at the top of the screen. You can also select the List All Documents view from the options located on the left-hand side of the screen and scroll to the desired document. Once you've located the PDF of the document you're interested in, simply select the document icon to open it up. If you're looking for a specific section of a document, all PDFs in PlanGrid are searchable. So, if you want to look for the section about self-consolidating concrete in this document, you would select the magnifying glass in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Type in Self-Consolidating Concrete, and all instances of it will come up in a list view so that you can select the section that you're interested in quickly and easily. To return back to the main view of all of the sheets in the project, select the Sheets icon on the Navigation Toolbar. The third icon on the Navigation Toolbar is the Tasks icon. This icon is used as a punch list tool where all punch list items and issues created within your project are saved to a rolling list. This tool will be covered in more detail in a different video. But for now, note that this useful tool is great for collaborating with designers and contractors on a project from the moment you identify issues all the way to the resolution of the issue, while also serving as a great tool for generating punch lists at the end of the project. The fourth icon on the Navigation Toolbar is the Field Reports tool. This tool will also be covered in more detail in a different video. But please note that contained within this tool are fillable forms and reports, like that of the Work Zone Safety Inspection Form, TL Series Forms, and the Inspector Daily Work Report. The fifth icon on the Navigation Toolbar is the Team icon. By selecting this icon, you can see who has access to the project. If you are an ace on the project, you will have the ability to add team members and remove them from the project. The final selection on the Navigation Toolbar is the More option. By selecting this option, you will be presented with five additional options for navigating your project. While VDOT won't be using the RFI feature, the remainder of the tools in this tab provide a high-level and auditable glance of the project. The next two options are Photos and Snapshots. All of the photos and snapshots that have been created on this particular project will be stored within these two icons to help you stay on top of what's happening throughout the project's progress. These useful tools will be covered in more detail in different videos. The final two options under More are History and Comments. History provides a view of all of the plan grid activity for the specific project, while Comments allows you to leave or review project-wide comments. Returning back to the Sheets view, 
you'll notice a filter icon in the upper right-hand corner of your screen that allows you to filter the sheets available in your view by project tag, markups, recently viewed, etc. Please note, this feature will be covered in more detail in other videos. In the upper left-hand corner of your screen is the word Projects. By selecting Projects, you can quickly and easily return to your project list view to navigate to a different project.